My first proposal is a small family GCI, similar to Oscar's Wacky Taxi at Sesame Place or Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I say a GCI because they are a Pennsylvania-based company and Hershey has great relations with them, so I do not see them wanting to threaten that relationship by going with another wooden coaster manufacturer like CCI or Gravity Group. The park has lately shown importance of giving the families things to do by adding attractions like Laugh Track, Reese's Cup Fusion, and Breaker's Edge in the recent years. So family-based GCI would make a lot of sense in my opinion, not only because it would add to the family lineup, but also round out their wooden lineup really well. The next proposal is a B&M Flyer. Oh boy, the things I would do for Hershey Park to add a B&M Flyer. I'd probably do five whole push-ups, and that's a lot coming for me. With the investment of Candemonium, it's quite apparent that the park's relationship with B&M is striving, and a flyer, well, it would be magical to put it simply. It is not to be anything crazy like Tatsu at Six Flags Magic Bound, although I would not mind that at all. But really, the park does not offer an experience that resembles a flying coaster at all. The closest thing I can think of is the Great Bear, which is an inverted coaster. The GP are suckers for flyers as well, which, business speaking, is good for the park. Like I said, it's not to be anything crazy, but rather, a coaster like Superman would do just fine. I honestly think it makes more sense when thinking about the costs and the land to work with within the park's lineup. Imagine this alongside Candemonium and Chocolate Town. They would go together just like chocolate and peanut butter and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And no, this video is not sponsored. Third proposal on my list is an SNS free spin. I know you guys are probably sick of seeing this at every Six Flags park, but I always love myself a good free spin. There are relatively cheap attractions that still provide the extreme thrills. Hear me out. If the park removed their Vacoma Boomerang Sidewinder and replaced it with a free spin, I do not think a single soul would be upset. I personally think it's a great fit, and I feel like Hershey could do some cool theming with a free spin as well. It would also kick our relationship with SNS for Hershey, which could lead to more projects between the two in the future. And trust me, SNS makes some cool roller coasters, so seeing the park get a good relationship with them would be an awesome sight. My second to last proposal is a B&M wing. Now going back to the B&M route, if Hershey does not go with the flying coaster, then they should certainly go with a wing. Bonus points if they go with the launch option, similar to Thunderbird at Holiday World. As mentioned earlier, Hershey does not have a coaster that simulates the experience that a wing coaster brings, so adding one would be a terrific move in my opinion. I could see this once again going, a lot, going alongside Candemonium and Chocolate Town, but this time with a Jolly Rancher type theme. Each side of the train could be branded to a certain flavor, or something like that. I don't know, it's just something I thought of off the top of my head. I know B&Ms don't come cheap, but over time, I really think a B&M wing would be a really good and worthy investment. Now, the last proposal I have on my list should be pretty obvious to any of those watching who keeps an eye on, on the coaster scene. Hershey Park is one of the last major parks in America that does not have a hybrid coaster. Wherever they go with a ground up or with one of their GCI's Lane Racer Wildcat, I really don't care too much, although I would definitely prefer the ground up route, and which manufacturer they choose either I don't really mind at all, because speculation has begun that Hershey Park may go with a GCI hybrid instead of your typical RMC. Where they decide is beyond me, but this coaster would undoubtedly become the best of the park, and truly round out Hershey's coaster lineup in the thrills department. I even went as far as coming up with a theme for the ride, the Chocolate Cyclone. Most hybrids seem to be themed after Cyclones, I mean what we have, we have Twisted Cyclone, Wicked Cyclone, so why not add a Hershey to the list? And you know what? Just because I'm getting so excited about this ride, I'm gonna add an honorable mention for the list. Off the top of my head, another coaster I could see Hershey Park adding is a Vacoma SLC. Let's be honest, it would win the Golden Ticket Awards as the best new coaster of 2021. In fact, it would be first place in the Golden Ticket Awards for the top 50 steel coasters. That's right, Steel Vengeance, it would even be better than you. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate 
so much about the things that you choose to be. I'm just kidding, guys. But anyways, that's going to round up the list. Let me know what you guys thought. If you are new to the channel or a returnee, please hit that subscribe button as it helps me out so, so much. I would greatly appreciate it. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, and comment down below what coaster you want to see Hershey Park at. I will respond to every single one of you. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon from the Hershey Act. I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Thank you.